Oh my gosh. Guys, you have no idea. Seeing this in person, being able to touch, being able to see this. Allahu Akbar. And you know what? As soon as we came, just look, look, look at the houses. Mud huts providing water for this village. This, this is how we're inshallah going to be smiling to Jannah. We'll be continue doing projects like this. I think it's been a five hour drive now, just so we can come and show you what we have done. Help me make more and more of these. Link in the description. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. And when I ask you if what happened on October 7th is something you condemn. It's the bold American version of Piers Morgan. <gasps> As if the British one wasn't enough. Israeli support is waning, especially when they've killed seven aid workers, three of whom are British. So they've got the Brits saying, you know what? This has to stop. This needs to stop. This is indefensible. I was just now is the time that we suspend, temporarily suspend the sale of arms to Israel because some message has to get through. Oh, I'll tell you the irony of this because the drone that killed those British citizens and aid workers, the engine of that drone was sent by Britain. Yes, it's British. So because of all this, Israel has had to tug at the collars of one of their stooges and assets and said, you're up mate, let's start dancing. Dance puppets, dance! <laughs> And boy did he dance because this whole show was literally a propaganda tool for Israel. You don't have that power. Said I can On what authority question. do you speak? You only speak on the authority of Hamas propaganda. No, I'm. S Why do you say that I'm speaking on the authority of Hamas propaganda? Because if I'm you were a decent human being, you can say that the thousands were killed on October 7. That was a crime against humanity. It was a genocide. It, uh you had two media trained guys versus two untrained college students. They were just shouting them down and cutting them off. And you say, well, you have to look at that by looking at hundreds of years of conflict. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's either right or it's wrong. And it was wrong. And I don't need a hundred years of conflict to know it was it's wrong. When somebody comes over a fence mm -hmm. and goes into someone's house mm -hmm. and burns their infant mm -hmm. in its crib, I don't give a damn why they did so it. It's wrong. That's why you need to know about the hundred years. It's not their house. They've stolen the house you're talking about. And as they are in the house, they are killing the residents of the house, irrespective of age or vulnerability, just because they claim their great, 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 great grandfather used to live there once. And it says it in their book. I am being emotional. I have the right to be emotional. He bought on this Mexican mafia looking guy who apparently is the son of one of the founders of Hamas. I'm here with Masab Youssef, son of the Hamas co-founder. He turned his back on Hamas and is estranged from his family. And then he became a spy for the Israelis. Yeah, that's right. And the Stoker's Bruce, he actually mentioned this in the show. I worked with the Israeli intelligence and I had the honor. They've literally bought on an Israeli spy who they called the Green Prince and was the most valuable spy to them because he foiled so many attacks. Yeah, they brought him onto the show, some American show, Dr. Phil, some big psychologist guy used to be with Oprah Winfrey, and now he's singing the flute of Israel. He's brought on this guy. What's happening is insanity. Those pro-Palestine people need to go to a mental asylum. And not only that, this guy is the same who said that Islam is the problem. Oh yeah, he said Islam's a problem? Bring him on mainstream telly mate. Yeah, let's, let's get him to interview some random college students. Yeah. Oh, and he conveniently converted to Christianity. Oh, because if he went to the other side, then it would have looked a bit too suspicious, you know? And then he even goes on to say, yeah, Palestinians and Hamas, they're the same. I personally don't differentiate between Hamas and what's so called Palestinians. So in other words, this guy on national television is saying wipe them all out. That's what he's saying because 
They are attacking Hamas. Hamas are the terrorists. So they're not going to stop till they've wiped out Hamas. In other words, Palestinians. And people are there going. And the light continues to shine off the bald head of this giant potato as he sits there continuously force feeding us this Israeli propaganda from this spy that's sitting on the sofa and wasting oxygen. If they burn an infant in a crib, do you see that as a moral equivalent to a collateral death from a bomb being dropped as an act of war? Oh yeah, where's the evidence mate? Yeah, what? No evidence? And don't give us AI developed pictures, yeah? And did you hear this guy? On the one side he's uh, burnt uh, uh, babies and on the other side ah collateral damage mate. Look, look how they package these things from the get-go. He naturally assumes the good intentions of the colonizer as does the UK and David Cameron. Oh they've killed our people. Oh we're gonna ask Israel to investigate themselves. Oh so it, you've told Israel to investigate themselves? Oh I wonder how that investigation's gonna go. Hmm damn they've acquitted themselves. What a shocker. This extremist asset of Israel that's worked as a spy for them and has extreme views on Islam says oh, Islam says that killing is a form of worship. In Islam to kill for Allah is a way of worship. Oh but that but that's okay he's only an Islamophobe it's not like he's anti-semitic <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for even using that word without your permission. What a joke. The fact that he was allowed on that show to generalize 1.8 billion Muslims and to paint them all as Jew hating killers. So why the Muslim people hate the Jewish people? They don't have a reason except the ideological reason. What a sick joke. Especially when the UN Rapporteur has recently said, according to the definition and criteria of genocide, she says that Israel is indeed committing genocide. Because anytime this conversation comes up, they're like, yeah, but the ICJ didn't say, <laughs> you know what I mean? They didn't say that clearly. So, guys, was it any surprise that they brought on the bold American Piers Morgan to ask for those condemnations and to use the same argument that they've been using since the start? It's no surprise and it's gonna continue but you know what so are we we're gonna continue doing what we're doing as well that's right let's leave it there guys till next time assalamu alaikum